some blackened chicken. A uh, very simple dish to make. When I work with chicken, I like to wear these latex gloves. And we're going to be using a boning knife. <clears throat> it's not sharp. You know what to do. Okay, when you select your chicken breasts, you're looking for nice, plump, juicy ones like these. However, you want to get some of that liquid off of there. You don't want them too wet. So this one's ready to go. And now, when I work with chicken, uh, I use a maple cutting board. Uh, maple kills the germs naturally, however, uh, it's still chicken. It can be a little slimy, so plastic is not a bad idea. I'm going to show you just, uh, just how to clean this. Okay, first thing you want to do is remove the uh, fat and the tough tendony parts and you want to get as much of the silver skin out of there as you can uh, so that you're not eating this stuff. It doesn't taste good. When you're grilling or blackening uh, something like this, it's a good idea to have it uniform size. So uniform size means you take it and you butterfly it slightly. There's a few reasons for this. I'm not going to touch on that too much. Okay, this is ready to go. Now, you can use your hand and pound it, or you can add another piece of plastic wrap and do a little uh, tapping. I prefer to use a meat mallet. So if you don't have one of these, you can pick them up on the site. All right, and have a nice uniform size. Looks like this is about uh, half an inch, approximately. All right, there we go. That right there is a prepared chicken breast, ready to use uh, grilling, sauteing, poaching, broiling, blackening, you name it, it's ready to go. Okay, now we're going to move over to our spices here. Okay, I'm going to add some uh, blackening spice. Uh, same deal. If you don't have this stuff, you know where to get it. We're going to put a nice uniform amount of spices on this chicken. And whenever uh, you blacken, you want to put a little bit of uh, melted butter or olive oil on your on your chicken and we're going to be doing both sides very very light amount okay so we take this chicken down it goes in the Cajun alright I've got a uh, cast iron skillet ready to go right over here and uh, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you uh, you want to make sure you want to make sure this is hot wow that's hot you only put the seasonings on one side and completely and it's a good idea to turn your exhaust on because this makes a hell of a lot of smoke you can see how much seasonings I've got in this chicken it goes right on the dry pan like that and that right there is the beginning to blacken chicken I'll be back if you look closely, you can see some of the smoke coming off. The spices uh, are browning very quickly, almost burning. Uh, the blackened chicken uh, cooks pretty quickly, and I do like to add a little bit of fresh sea salt uh, to the chicken. So this is it. It's completely seasoned, and it's going to be ready to go. And normally we serve this with a sauce. Uh, these are beautiful Cajun seasonings. Uh, you got all kinds of great stuff in there. There's salt, pepper, different spices, rosemary, oregano, basil, paprika, uh, a little bit of cumin, the onion, garlic. I mean, it's good stuff. C Cajun seasonings is used very, very uh, predominantly throughout the South of the United States. And it's used in other places as well. Jamaica, uh, Caribbean, they get into this Cajun as well. But uh, anyway, Good stuff. Check, check it out.
Okay, the chicken's looking good. About now you can see it's cooked around the perimeter. So all we're going to do is give it a flip. Keep the pan dry. And uh, we're going to let it continue to cook. Obviously, when it's done cooking, uh, it's firm to the touch. And that's how I tell. Uh, usually just remove the glove. Almost ready. Ah, the finished blackened chicken. Firm to the touch. It's looking good. And uh, we're going to plate it and give you a quick finished presentation here shortly. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, there's the finished blackened chicken. I'm going to use a uh, slicer and a, a meat fork just because it's it's pretty easy uh, to do normally I, I like to uh, cut this into skinny slices like so you can see the chickens just done okay tell you what it's nothing like having a good slicer and uh, and fork when you want to carve something very easily very efficiently okay there it is I'll zoom in on it for you all right and now uh, to present this or plate this chicken I uh, just toss together a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, honey mustard uh, kind of a sweet honey mustard uh, dipping sauce I'm going to put a little bit of uh, carrot on the plate as well and the carrot basically is just uh, to give give it a little contrast a little uh, different texture as well as color it's doing a few things I like these microplane graters by the way so they're they're nice they're handy simple to use fast and uh, wow it's just busting through that carrot you can see that okay that's my garnish right there. This uh, this is just an appetizer, and I think that uh, you should have some color and some contrast. So there you go. Now to plate this, uh, normally I would serve just a few pieces, maybe uh, two, three, four, like this. Okay, we're gonna go one, two. That one's kind of big. three four uh, you know what we'll put number five on there too okay hope you enjoyed watching please support your sponsor have a great day